Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Milm here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to play sound, stop sound, pause sound, change the volume of a sound, and loop the sound over and over again. Um, so that's quite a lot to do in this tutorial, so without further ado, let's get going. Uh, we will need a couple of outlets and a couple of actions. One's going to be the slider, UI slider, to uh, change the volume. The other is going to be an outlet of the button, so when they press play, it changes to pause, and when they press pause, it changes to play. Um, and we'll also need a reset button to set the song back to the start. So if you've got a, like a, a song, and you want them to be able to set it back to the start of the song, that will also be there, so it's kind of like a stop button. So pause pauses it, and then the stop button actually stops it and sends it back to the start again. Um, so I'm going to create those outlets by using the interface builder. Um, so, oops, I'm going to select the editor here and bring that across and uh, first of all I'm going to change this play sound to just play because play sound seems a bit weird and then I'm going to drag in another button and this is going to be our reset button so reset and that can just be uh, like that make that a bit bigger fit in nicely there like that and I'm going to need a UI slider as well so we'll drag that across we'll put this at the top here and I'll make that the whole length of the screen, or just about the whole length of the screen. And uh, I'm going to need an outlet for this, so I'm going to control drag that over to the interface builder. It's going to be an outlet UI slider. I'm going to call this volume. Uh, I'm going to call this volume slider just for simplicity. Um, I'm also going to need an outlet for this button so we can change its text. So uh, I'm going to call that button again for simplicity and we're also going to need this action here so if we just control drag that to the actions bit change that down to action it's going to be a button and make sure it's touch up inside sender and I'm just going to call this I don't know reset reset sound like that um, now we also need an action for the changing of the volume so to do that we're going to have to drag control drag from the UI slider down here it's going to be an action, we're going to change it to UI slider and we're going to have it on value changed because when you move the slider it actually sends out an action called value change that means its value is changed and the so UI slider goes from 0 to 1 and the volume of a music, uh, the volume of the sound you're playing also has the function of going from 0 to 1 for the sound um, so that's quite good, we're going to have it as a sender as well and I'm going to call this change volume and uh, no I'm not gonna have this sender just click none for that one sorry uh, so you can have none um, so you can save that and we shall change this to the dot H so we have the dot H over there and we'll change this one to the dot M now I might have modified this a bit since I uh, came here last time because I was uh, testing out what we're gonna do in this tutorial um, so it should still have the same code in it, it just uh, it might be moved around a little bit. Um, so here's the two actions we just made, sorry. Um, and there's the play sound button. Now what we need to do is we need to find the view did load. So uh, we uncomment that and we need to copy and paste all of this sound apart from the, well, yeah, all of this and just command X and put it into the view did load. The reason for that is because we can set up our sound file and our sound and everything in the view did load so we can use it in these actions over here. Uh, now we don't need the sound play here otherwise the sound will start playing and uh, I'm just going to come I'm just going to drag in an mp3 here that's um, that I've got from myself just so it's longer and uh, so you can see that I can play and pause it and stuff and um, it's the Dead Island MP3. I'll put a link in the description if you want it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to change that here. I'm going to rename it. So Dead Island like that. And it's going to be of type MP3. Um, so if we just change this one here back to the .h. So I just changed that there. Just drag in a new sound file. Just so, so you can see that I am pausing it and stopping it and stuff like that. Um, now down here... I'm going to teach you how to set its volume and I'm going to teach you how to set its loop. So uh, to set its loop, uh, I mean to set its volume, sorry, you're going to go sound dot volume space equals space and now just set a number between 0 and 1. 
Uh, so zero is obviously nothing, it won't make a sound, and one is the highest you can go. So I'm going to set it to one for default, because remember we're going to allow them to change their volume over here. Um, so one's default, just in case this change volume doesn't work or something like that, it will still play, just in case. So now I'm going to tell you how to set its loop. So if you go sound dot number of loops, like that, space equals space, and again this is going to be an integer. So if you want your sound to loop twice, so say if you've got a beep sound and you want it to go beep beep instead of just beep, you can put two here and it will loop twice. It will go beep beep, one, two. Uh, if you want it to loop 30 times, it will loop 30 times. Or if you want it to loop constantly, like nether stop, so say if you've got uh, a background music playing and you don't want it to ever stop playing, uh, you can just set this to minus one and it will loop constantly, like all the time, it will never stop looping. Um, so yeah, that's just the number of loops thing. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set up our play sound and uh, I'll be back in a minute once I've set that up just to show you what I've done. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I have added quite a lot of code here. Um, so I'm going to go through it in detail with you now. Um, so if you have a look, we have an if statement here and an else statement. Now what this if statement is doing, it's checking if the sound isn't playing because the sound or an AV audio player has a function called is playing and that checks to see, it's a boolean value to check to see if the sound is playing. So if sound is playing, do this. But we want to check if it isn't playing. So if it isn't playing when they press play, we want it to play and we also want to set the button to pause. Otherwise, we want the sound to pause and we change the button to play. So this basically means if it isn't playing, play. If it is playing, pause. That's basically what it does. Um, so hopefully you understood that. That's what the explanation mark means. It basically reverses the output of this. So if it is, we're now reversing it so it isn't. Um, so yeah. And now I'm going to teach you how to set reset the sound and change the volume. So I'll put those two actions in and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back. Okay, for the reset sound, to stop the sound, you're going to go sound, stop, and then you're going to set the sound's current time to zero. So that's sound dot current time, space equals space, zero. Um, so you can set that to, if you know how long your song is, so I know mine's about two minutes, if I set that to 110, or 110, it will then skip the song forwards to 110. So if you want certain time locations within your song, you can just get to them using the sound current time function if you want. And then the change volume is quite simple. Um, it's going to be the sound dot volume, the same that we used in the view did low down here, sound dot volume, space equals space, the volume sliders value. And because the volume, as I said, goes from zero to one, and the slider goes from 0 to 1, they fit perfectly together. So if the slider's value is 0 0.3, the volume will be 0 0.3. If the volume slider is 1, the sound will be 1. So uh, it's quite easy to fit together, it's quite simple. Um, so I think that's about it for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build and run and I'll be back in a minute to show you it works. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see our project is built. So if I select play here, you'll hear the song play. And uh, there you go, it's playing. And uh, if you just listen to it now and remember where it is, if I click pause and then play again, it will continue from where it was left off. And now if I click, um, so if it's playing, and now if I click reset, it then goes stops and it goes back to the start. And uh, see, it now starts from the start again. Um, and the volume works as well, so if I, I can turn it up here, and I can turn it down, so you can see that works perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, there you go, that's how you play a sound file, and that's how you pause it, and stop it, and reset it, change its volume, and it will loop, but this song's quite long, so I don't want to waste two minutes showing you it's going to loop. Um, so I don't really know what to do for the next tutorial, guys. Just leave a comment in the description for anything you want me to do on sound. Uh, I'll try and do it for you. Um, I don't know. Just post a comment in the description of what you want me to do. And uh, I'll hopefully do it for you. 
Um, so, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.